In this video, you will learn about the healing powers of water and how you can use it on your own healing journey. Hello, beautiful beings, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about topics connected to mental health, spirituality, and how you can connect to your own divinity. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Before I jump straight into the topic of the video, I just want to let you know that I am offering coaching services. My website is down below in the de description. You can find out more details about that uh, to see if I could be a potential uh, great fit for you for a life coach. I also have a book out called Growing Young, Mind, Body and Soul Cohesion. And if that's something that you're interested in, the link is also down below in the description. I've known about the healing powers of water for quite some time and have been using it on my own healing journey. But after watching Secrets of Water on Gaia, I was so fascinated and so much more appreciative of water. In this video, I'm just gonna recap a couple points that I just found so interesting. First, let's talk about an experiment that was conducted by a Japanese researcher, Dr. Emoto. So Dr. Emoto had taken three separate uh, glass beakers and placed rice in all three of them and then covered them with water. The first one, he spoke, uh, he said thank you to it. The second one, he said that you're an idiot. And then the third one, he completely ignored. So after a month, the first one that he said thank you to uh, started to ferment and gave up pleasant aroma. The second one that he said you're an idiot to became black and the third one that he had completely ignored started to rot. So in another experiment also conducted by Dr. Emoto, um, he had taken Tokyo tap water that was unable to uh, create crystals and had placed it in a middle of this a circle um, and the people who were a part of the experiment were holding hands and sending gratitude towards the water after this experiment um, they had uh, tested the water and the water was starting to create beautiful crystals um, so the gratitude that was sent to the water did help change the water and um, changed the crystals of the water and then this experiment was conducted in different parts of the world and they found that it was the same result another research was conducted in a church during an orthodox holiday so two flasks of water were filled with tap water and one of them was placed in a church during the service while the other one wasn't after the service was done, they um, took the water and uh, froze it and photographed it under a microscope. Microscope, <laughs> sorry, a microscope. And the one that was not uh, placed in the church showed that it had like a chaotic spot. Like it didn't look like a beautiful crystal at all. Whereas the one that was in the church showed that the crystal was symmetrical and it looked like a six-pointed star. Another study that was conducted at McGill University in Canada also revealed that water that was prayed over and blessed helped uh, support the growth of plants more than water that was not prayed over or blessed. Water is at its most powerful state when it is flowing freely and yeah you, you know like in a lake or in an ocean or a river um, but when water comes to us um, through the pipes into our homes um, it becomes dead water it's negative water because um, the sharp turns of the pipes actually damage the water and it deforms the crystals in the water so by the time it comes to us and we drink it or we use it in whichever way we use it to take a shower or whatever take a bath um, it the water that we're drinking or using has lost a lot of its healing properties in the secret of water dr emoto had stated that 
um, a, like living water has beautiful crystals, whereas in less vibrant water or dead water does not. It doesn't have the same crystals. And the water that is in the city collects negative information um, through people and pollution. And also with like the uh, sharp turns that I had mentioned before that also deforms the crystals that are in the water. And with uh, the chlorine that's in the water, um, crystals are not able to form. Science has proven that water holds memory and can change with the environment, with um, our intentions, with our words, and even with music. So how can you use this for your own healing journey? Well, let's just keep in mind that humans are made up of 70 to 60 percent of water it varies depending on your age your size your gender um so yeah we all drink water right so let's say before you drink your water you change the the memory of the water so take a glass uh take a water take water and put in a glass bottle <laughs> why am i having a hard time saying that okay so take a water and put in a glass bottle a glass is uh, more ideal because glass is um, created of natural materials whereas plastic isn't it's chemicals so let's say you take a glass um, and fill it up with water and you say um, positive words to it positive affirmations send it positive and high vibrational intentions or play around, play high vibrational music around it and then you drink it that um, affects your body right because the water that we drink does affect our body whatever we put into our body affects our body so that's one way another way is you can take a nice beautiful bath and um, before you get into the bath you can change the memory of the water by doing the same thing you know sending positive energy to it high vibrational um, vibes to it um, play healing music around it um, that type of stuff and then after you change the water um, then you get into the water and that can be another way of healing and using water to heal I find it so fascinating that religion and like the spiritual communities already had always known that water held healing energy and now science has proven that it's a fact and as a matter of fact science is actually starting to prove that a lot of the stuff that was considered woo woo um, a lot of it is starting to come um, like science is proving that it is uh, true and there that some of the stuff that our ancestors had already known does hold weight you know and i'm happy about that because i feel like um you know we should question things i get it we should question things we shouldn't just um take people's words for it you know um so um there's a place for science in this world and there's a place for like the spiritual world in this world so i'm very happy that like science is starting to look at a lot of the stuff that um religions and like the spiritual community were saying and science is starting to prove whether it is real or not so um i think that's great um and if you're interested in learning more about you know um science and how it's proving a lot of what the spiritual community had already known i would really recommend gaia for that i i think gaia is amazing so anyways um <laughs> i hope that this video was very helpful for you and if you know any ways of how you can use water for healing or techniques or anything that could help anybody please comment down below in the comment section i guess until next time peace and love